Hello, I'm Andy Thompson. Um, I'm the Neighbourhood Inspector for Oxford Central and North Oxford. Uh, as part of neighbourhood policing, it's, it's key that we engage with the community and we're always looking at ways to, to get our messages out there and also get the feedback as well about how we're performing. Um, and one of the ways we're now looking at is social media, via Twitter, uh, Facebook, our, in, our own internet page as well, but also looking at this opportunity to get a video out to the community just to update on a few things that we're doing in the city centre in North Oxford so that people are aware you know, in conjunction with our newsletters that we send out. Just uh, in relation to our priorities at the moment around the city centre, um, we're looking at the exploitation of the homeless and the hostile community where we're working with uh, partners, charities to make sure that the support is there for those who may be vulnerable and open to exploitation and trafficking. Uh, also we've got work around um, complaints around homelessness, street drinking and begging and again using our, our partners and working with them and the city council and again with the hostels we look at ways of diverting them from behaviour that may be causing a, a antisocial behaviour for other residents of the city um, and this is something that's been, been going particularly well in the city and we, we've seen an improvement in relation to complaints about begging but also you know, the, the support that we're giving to rough sleepers in the area and finally for the city centre around the priorities have been identified for us. Uh, there's been issues around drug activity, certainly in the, in the South Oxford Abingdon Road area. Now, recently we've had a number of arrests there and uh, we're building cases against them with a number of people on bail who uh, we believe were supplying drugs in that area. And that's been received with some welcome fe feedback from the community at local meetings about improvements in the, how that is uh, looking. Uh, in North Oxford, we've, uh, our priorities are around graffiti. Uh, we've been doing lots of work around graffiti, looking at um, targeting those who are responsible for doing it, looking at compensation, working with the City Council to ensure it's removed quickly and educating the public. And in fact, we've got, uh, if you're watching this before the 26th of November, on the 26th of November at the Town Hall, we've got an appreciative, appreciative inquiry where we're looking to work with the community to identify more ways we can tackle it to uh, ensure we can reduce the effects it has on the area. And if it's after the 26th of November, we'll hopefully be publicising how that went as well. Um, other issues that we've been dealing with, the nighttime economy falls under my responsibility and the policing of that. So we've been doing lots around planning for the Freshers' Week and Halloween. It's just gone a particularly busy, area, busy times of the year for us. And also, obviously, we're coming up to Christmas. And uh, again, the planning for that started a long time ago to ensure we've not only got officers on the street, but also that we're working with premises to ensure that people are safe and can enjoy a night out, whilst also those residents of Oxford uh, feel safe and feel, uh, don't get too disrupted by some of the behaviour that comes with it. But I'd always encourage people to, to drink responsibly and uh, ensure that they are safe on a night out and stick with friends on that front. Uh, finally, just with regards to some other areas that we, we focus on is theft from uh, people. We have a number of uh, pickpocketing phone thefts in the city centre. That's had a really good result for some of the focused work we've done brought that down by about 25%. And along with bike crime, one of our biggest sort of contributors to our crimes, that's down again. Year on year it comes down, and it's down again by now another 25% so far this year. So all in all, you know, we are focused on what's been raised with us. Obviously, this, this tool is essential for us to get people talking back to us. So please follow us on, uh, on any social media um, avenues that there are, and uh, also contact the team if you've got anything you want us to focus on.